Thank you for that very kind welcome. And welcome everybody to Middlesex University, both here and online. And thank you, Secretary General Bernadette, thank you for a lovely welcome and for the, all the work that has gone into setting up this really important conference. So the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization and particularly the links between ICT and HR is one of the crucial things that we need to be addressing at the moment, both in uh, commercial organizations, in public sector and in uh, governmental organizations. One of the um, leading US thinkers on education recently said, when we think about students, actually we need to stop thinking about just individual students and you have to think about a student plus their smartphone. And actually, we have become almost hybrid, not just in the conference, but in our ways of acting, our ways of knowing, and our ways of interacting. And it strikes me that that is just one tiny illustration of the sorts of things that really this, uh, this organisation and this conference can push forward. Communication, I think, is one of the, the crucial areas within this. I've previously had uh, the great pleasure to be involved with um, uh, technological communication enabling uh, research unit who looked at people who had very little verbal communication but were using technology to be able to communicate. And one thing that they did that I thought was just hugely impactful was to work with trainee medics as they were going through their education and to enable those medics to experience not what it was like to be in the position of not being able to communicate verbally, but to be able to try and communicate with that person. So many of them were using technology, which enabled the, the communication to go reasonably smoothly. What was very interesting was when they stopped using the technology, working with the trainees, and then actually there was a quite different experience, as you can imagine. So technology linked to human beings has the ability to unpick and enable wonderful change at an individual level, but also wonderful change at an organizational level. And so I think that is, um, it's delightful that you're, you're focusing on that. Adaptation, innovation, and evolution. These are clearly uh, a, a kind of nexus <coughs> of forces for change. And the Secretary General has uh, very articulately explained some of those things to us already. What I would perhaps add on to that list, or I, I think it's in the list, but perhaps what I would like to emphasize is the notion of agency. In other words, what is the role of the human being within this? What can we pick up? What can we take forward? And it's great that this organization, like Middlesex, is dedicated to the UN sustainability, uh, sustainable development goals. These, I think, actually give us a really great framework. So we link to a strong ethical framework that means that change isn't just going in any direction. Actually, the change and the agency we take for change does have to address inclusion. It does have to address equalities and equity. It does have to address poverty and, of course, environment. And these are the big issues where the join between HR and ICT, I believe, needs to focus. I believe that's exactly what you are focusing on, and that is absolutely fantastic. Having looked through the conference schedule, I can see there are some great speakers, some great companies, and some great countries being represented, and I'm sure there will be a, a really superb coming together of thinking that will inspire you, not just over the next two days, but as you go forward. I'm really delighted that you have chosen Middlesex University to, uh, to hold this event. Middlesex University has a basis and grew uh, in London and has been here since the 1800s, uh, but actually now we have 44,000 students 20,000 are based in London. So actually the majority of our students are not in London. The majority of our students are based elsewhere in the world. You mentioned Mauritius uh, and that was great. We have a, uh, a big campus in Dubai. In fact, we're number one in Dubai of the overseas uh, universities, the biggest and the highest rated for quality. And then we've got many thousands of students operating elsewhere through partnerships in the world. So for us, that is really important. How do we connect that big community, that big family of scholars, again, exactly the sort of connections that you're trying to, to, to make work here. Secondly, I think the, uh, the big issue for us is also around inclusivity. If you look at the 
uh, the London context, 70% of our students here come from global majority ethnicities. Well over 50% are women. And we have a real opportunity within Middlesex as a part of a broader ecosystem to really show how that more diverse approach to education and to engagement is the sort of thing that can foster the sort of change that we're talking about. Because when we talk about adaptation and innovation, the one thing we absolutely know is that we need difference in the room together, able to learn. So I would add on to the idea that we now need to think about students plus their smartphone, that perhaps we need to think about students plus their smartphone, plus a diverse community that is open-minded, open-hearted, and has learning at the heart of what it tries to do. There's a great uh, uh, educational researcher, Illyris, who talks about the basis for transformative learning. And transformation is one of your watchwords for, for the next <coughs> couple of days. His argument is transformation does not come from sameness, because what you, you can extend your thinking, you can extend your practice, and that's really important. Right? But transformation comes from being challenged by difference and being reflexive, taking that difference into yourself and saying, how do I change as a result of this encounter? I'm absolutely confident that there will be transformation going on in this conference and everything that flows from it. The conversations I've heard in the setup for this, I, I thought were just a special quality that were themselves generally transformative. So thank you for choosing to be with Middlesex. Thank you for being part of this community. We're delighted to be part of your community. I'm really sorry that I'm going to have to dash off and, and, uh, uh, and um, have some other